<laughs> Hello, good morning. It's a beautiful day to be alive. My name is Whitney. If you didn't know, here she is on my robe. I'm getting ready for the day. I've been trying to start my mornings with the Sarah's Day Body Bloom. It has a lot of pre and probiotics in it. It's supposed to help with digestion, bloating, your skin. I'm trying it out. Thank you, Sarah Sezzy, for sending it my way. Listen, I hate things that taste like health, and this tastes like health, but it also tastes pretty fruity, light, crisp, but you do have to make sure that you stir it really well because when I don't stir it really well and it's all grainy, ooh, it gives me chills, okay? So as I'm drinking it, I'm continuing to stir it because I find that it settles really quickly, but it's helped my digestion so much, so I've been uh, taking it first thing in the morning, woo! Mm. All right, I'm getting ready for the day. Half my hair's curled, half of it's not. I washed my hair last night and then slept on it, so I look like a pretty crazy person today. Little bit crazy. That's all right. I did my face, I'm doing my hair. I have a meeting downtown today, so I'm getting ready for that. I might take a rest day from the gym, undecided. And then we're gonna film a full day of eating. I have done this since I think spring, so yeah. I'm kind of just winging it today though, because I didn't really uh, plan out what I'm eating in a day, but I'm gonna use the groceries for my last video for my vlog. She's vlogging. That's what we're doing today full day of eating. I can't promise you it's gonna be super interesting, but y'all know me, okay? She's a plain Jane when it comes to food. If I could have oatmeal every day for breakfast, I would. But then you guys are like, oh no, not oatmeal again, Whitney. And I'm like, all right, fine. I'll try to switch this up. All right, I'll check back in after I finish my body bloom and my hair. Stir it up, stir, stir, stir before every single sip -a -roo. And sip -a -roo. Mm. They froze together a little bit, you know? Listen, I've never learned how to make hash browns, okay? It's so difficult. The instructions say put it down and then flip them once it's brown on one side, but that doesn't work for me, you know? It never works. So shout out to my friend Colby. He taught me how to make them, okay? He came over here, we were having a double date. Him and Nicolette showed up. He just started whipping out these hash browns. They're the best hash browns I've ever had. So I'm doing. <laughs> the trick is to never let the hash brown sit. So I'm just, they're in here, you know, getting all warm, but then I keep stirring them up. Then I'm gonna add some spices, splash of water, they'll be ready to go. And then over here, I'm gonna be cooking up some eggs. I'm gonna pop two eggs, two eggs in there. I've been waiting to try this with you guys, okay? The brand new Trader Joe's, everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip. I'm so excited. I'm gonna add some of that cheese to the hash browns. Got my bread toasting over there. Listen, the reason I love oatmeal is because oatmeal is just quick and easy, but sometimes we gotta switch it up. You guys encouraged me to switch it up, so I'm switching it up, and it's gonna be delicious. Ooh. They're getting lightly golden. Ooh, we love golden. All right, listen, now that we're about 80% done with our hash brown, it's time to get crazy. We're gonna add a whole lot of spices because spices, they're delicious, okay? Just a pinch of paprika, little onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, and just a little tiny little baby, not even a pinch of cayenne. Spicy, and I don't do well with spice, okay? Whoa-oh, yeah. Maybe a little pepper? Is pepper just getting out of hand? Probably, but why not? That's what I like to say. Okay, I'm gonna add a little splash of water, just a splash. Oh, I like to add a little bit of cheese to it, but you don't have to. About two pinches of cheese, okay? Delicious! We're almost there. there. Just a dollop of that everything but the bagel dressing dip. It's a dip. I'm gonna be honest, it kind of tastes like ranch, but then the aftertaste is everything but the bagel seasoning. So, used a quarter of an avocado on both of these pieces. Also, this toast shrunk and is the world's smallest piece of toast. Put an egg on top, then I used about a cup and a half to two cups of the hash browns. I'm proud of this one. 
I'm proud. I'm gonna get some breakfast, go get dressed, and then we gotta head out the door. Maybe we have time for a snack. I'm very sad to say that I do not have time for a snack, but that's okay. I'll see you guys back here for lunch. I gotta head off to this meeting. I can't be late. I mean, I feel like we have time for an outfit of the day because I'm wearing a non-gym outfit and that's very rare for me. So I just, we'll do that real quick. Yeah. This mirror doesn't belong here, but I took a selfie here the other day. So I haven't put the mirror back. Here's my outfit of the day. We have this beautiful black blouse with some red flowers on it and a tie right here, which is what really sold me on it. Got these stinking cute black jeans from Madewell and then I cut off the bottoms of them and then these little black sock booties. Ooh, winning a non-gym outfit. We don't know her. So I chopped up three sweet potatoes. Now normally I would put cinnamon on my sweet potatoes, but Tay Tay's been raving about adding some taco seasoning. And I had half of this pack left over from taco night last night. So I added the rest of this taco seasoning, a very light drizzle of olive oil, shook it all together. Here she is, gonna pop her in the oven for 45 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a ton of sweet potatoes here. So this is gonna last me quite a few days, which is nice. Kind of more of a meal preppy full day of eating because the leftovers is something I'll put in a container and then whip out over the next few days. Taking some extra time today, meal prepping for the week. All right, I'm getting lunch ready right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the Trader Joe's thinly sliced chicken breast seasoned with an authentic recipe. I showed this in my last grocery haul, my previous video. So I'm so happy to report, okay, that I have finally purchased an Instant Pot. Ooh, ooh. Listen, I've had it for a while, but I've been intimidated by it, okay? It's a very intimidating device, but my favorite thing to use it for right now is cooking up chicken like this in 10 minutes. Eight minutes? I don't know, it blows my mind. Over the last couple years, I've had a really hard time with chicken, but when you cook it in the Instant Pot, it just like shreds it into like the most beautiful texture, okay? Shredded chicken, holy heck and bomb. You get something like this that's super seasoned already. It's just, it's too good. I'm gonna throw that in a bowl with the sweet potatoes that I'm cooking up. And I've really just gotten in the habit of always having a container of black beans with chickpeas and then another container with corn. So then tomorrow for lunch, I can have the exact same thing. Take out my containers, pop it into a bowl, warm it up, and then it's just super easy on the go. So preparation is key. All right, the chicken is going to take six minutes to cook. I'm gonna mix it up, shred it up with a hand mixer. I think my sweet potatoes are almost done. Let me check my iPad. See, one minute and 59 seconds. The sweet potatoes will be done. I'm gonna go ahead and link that blog post about how to cook chicken in the Instant Pot below. I think it's a recipe for enchiladas. I just, I just use it for how to cook the chicken. But I found it really helpful if you have an Instant Pot and haven't used it, like um, I didn't. Mine was just sitting in the cupboard. So I was too scared to try it. So I did a base of lettuce. If you're looking for more carbs, then swap that out with your favorite rice. We all know I love jasmine rice, but today I went with the Trader Joe's butter lettuce that I bought the other day. Have a whole side of sweet potatoes with the taco seasoning on it, which I actually haven't tried yet. It's really good. <laughs> Ooh, it's spicy. Ooh. Base of lettuce, added the corn, black beans, chickpeas, then the shredded chicken. That chicken shreds so well. How does that entire chicken cook in six minutes? I don't get it. And then I added cucumbers and red onion because I add cucumbers and red onion to everything. Usually I won't add dressing, but sometimes if it gets a little bit dry, then I'll go ahead and add salsa, my favorite salsa. This is the Trader Joe's garlic chipotle salsa. Salsa is super macro friendly. If you're looking for something, pop that salsa onto this bad boy. But for today, this is it for me, girl. Ooh, delicious. And I have enough leftovers to last me a couple more days. Need a fork. Here she is. Mm -mm. I'm gonna enjoy this. We'll be back soon. Listen, a lot of things have happened since the last time you and I chatted, okay? First, 
your girl got her nails done. Secondly, I went to the gym, okay? I gymmed it out. I didn't think I was gonna make it today, but I made it. Just got home, it's 8 p.m. Holy heck, and Bob, where'd the day go? So I'm gonna get dinner ready. I just spent about a million and 10 years cutting this spaghetti squash in half. I need sharper knives. Now I'm gonna scoop out some of the seeds. I've never done this before, but I read a tutorial on Pinterest, so. What would I do without Pinterest? Questions I ask myself every day, okay? Gonna scoop out the seeds, gonna roast this up. The oven is preheating to 400 degrees and then it cooks for one second, one second, one second, four, one second, 30 to 40 minutes or until lightly brown on the outside, fork tender, but still a little bit firm. The time will vary depending on the size of your squash. I got a little squash, I got a little gal. Let's scoop it out. Ha <laughs> myself over until dinner. I've been snacking on these bad boys. Oh, I don't even know what I should tell you about these. I don't know, because you might be addicted like I am. These are from Popcorners. I first tried these out on a Delta flight. They had these in a snack basket. <sighs> Love that snack basket. These are the Popcorners. Kettle corn, sweet and salty. They're so stinking good, but they get me in trouble, you know? Cause I just, look these. I can eat the whole bag. Post-workout, sometimes I'll have a protein shake if I don't have food readily available since I'm waiting for my dinner to cook up right now. I'm gonna hold myself over with some popcorners and a quick protein shake. So this is the Alani New whey protein and confetti cake. I love confetti cake and I love fruity cereal. Y'all know I love fruity cereal. 12 ounces of water. I'm gonna take a scoop of this confetti cake. You guys know how I feel about supplements. You don't need them, but sometimes they will aid you. If I'm ever low on protein, this is just a really quick fix to get my protein up for the day. Have a quick little protein shake and call it a day. Well, I'm not really calling it a day because dinner's cooking. So when I was in LA for the Gymshark pop-up, I ordered a meal that was spaghetti squash and beyond beef meatballs. So that's what has inspired tonight's meal. So I finally found this, okay? I finally found this. This is the Beyond Meat, Beyond Beef plant-based ground, a whole pound of it. I found a whole recipe to make meatballs with it. I don't have a lot of the ingredients, so I'm just gonna make it work with some garlic, onion, salt, pepper. I'm missing like breadcrumbs, parsley, Parmesan. All I got is Mexican, but we're gonna make it work, okay? We're gonna do our best here. Squash just finished. Gonna let this cool off. Gonna pop these meatballs that I formed. Are you kidding me? Ooh onto the skillet. Next time I'm only gonna use half because obviously me and Stefan are not gonna eat all these meatballs tonight. Here she is, the spaghetti squash, the Beyond Meat meatballs. The spaghetti squash cooked perfectly. 30-ish minutes still makes it a little bit crunchy, not too mushy. Topped it with tomato basil sauce. Delicious. Here you go. Yum. Ending my night with a beautiful, wonderful, the best treat in the whole world. My current obsession, hold the cone from Trader Joe's. Look at this little Little mini guy. Love it. Can't finish the day off without not having a sweet. You know what I'm saying? You know I need a sweet. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's full day of eating. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again i'm heading to bed miss indy is too we love you so much and until next time i will see you next time